So here we are today with this Squire Ryan Jarman signature. If you don't know who Ryan is, he is a guitar player in the UK indie punk band The Cribs, who I am very good friends with and I work alongside both in the workshop and on the road as the technician, let's say. This is one of a limited run green apple or apple green, whichever you want to call it, colour, which is a little bit of an interesting story behind these in this colour with the matching headstock as well. Squire made in China. The stories that they were prototyping and road testing the signature guitars uh, before they really got sort of put into a production line and sent out to the public etc and uh, they had a meeting or they just met alongside some fender types uh, at a festival and they were discussing colors and they had these swatches and they had this dupont color apple green and so, from what I gather, Ryan's like, I like this colour, let's do something in that colour. It got agreed to. And then apparently, uh, these are made in China, and there was something uh, at the factory that they couldn't quite get the colour mix right, is from what I understand. And so they abandoned the idea of doing a production line in this colour. And they were just wanting to do the burgundy miss one, I think, for the general public. There is a Fiesta Red one, which I do have uh, alongside here, which we're working on as well, which was just made for Ryan himself, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, this got picked up by somebody in Scottsdale, Arizona, which I think Fender have a depot there. Um, and it went about on the forums about this colour, um, and then subsequently Ryan got in touch or they made connection to now and said that they weren't going to produce it in this colour and the band or Ryan himself didn't get one of these in this colour sent to him by Squire, Fender, whoever uh, and that was the story then this came about um, and I think there might be only a few out there that are various green colours, possibly. This is the only one I've ever seen. And uh, I think the guy who had it potentially got in touch with Ryan, sent it over. That he was meant to get one in the limited colour. They didn't want to produce it in this colour. A couple got done. So there might be a few varying shades of green out there in this model, potentially. So that's the my slapdash story about this. It is a slab board, so there's no arm contour or belly cut for it, which there is a, a burgundy mist one that has got slab as well. Uh, the production line, let's say retail limited one, did have the arm contour and the belly cut. Uh, the slab ones are ones that Ryan's got only. He also has the cutaway in the burgundy mist and the red Fiesta one, which I'll show in another video, it's also got the cutaways, but this is a slab one. Uh, today, it came in, we've just changed the jack socket out there. It was a bit uh, cheap and tacky and loose, so we put a Switchcraft one in there. Ahead of, uh, we've got a show, we've got two shows coming up this week, one in Italy and one in somewhere in the Northeast. So we're just getting this and the red one, which has got a fret issue. Although I did refret that one quite a few years ago with steel frets. Refretted it completely because it had worn down that much. Uh, and then we've just got a bit of issue occurring with a dead fret. So I'm going to resolve that issue before we go out on the road uh, in 48 hours time, I think. This one, like Ryan's other personal instruments, uh, we, we just gut and have uh, the single humbucker only going to volume and tone. The face switches and whatnot here with the neck 
single coil Jaguar style has been disconnected and the kill switch here which is just a two-way cut off switch we took out disconnected so we're straight humbucker to volume and to tone I did say let's just take it straight to volume and forget the tone but whatever now this particular humbucker that's in it uh, I custom made and built hand wound tall tech pickups or Lev Duncan as Ryan likes to call them um, with the white bobbins we've got an Alnico 5 magnet in there and this is I think it's around a 13.3k in fact let me double check that because I didn't check it in prep to start talking shit on this video about it and I completely forgot so I'll just have another look. A 15.3, mea culpa, 15.3k, I'll nick off five. It is, yeah. I remember I made it quite a few years ago because it just had the stock one that comes with it. And I think that's an El Nico one, I'm not sure. But it wants something a little different in between each instrument. The humbucker that's on the red one is a Damasio super distortion but we're now discussing about maybe swapping that out for something of a Toltec custom design something a little less compressed and hot let's say although this is quite a hot one for a 15.3k we're, we're pushing that sort of Duncan JB territory with it really I think they're maybe in the 16k range but that's roughly what we're going for as opposed to the ceramic 13k super distortions which he's got in the rest now we're talking about swapping those out for something of Toltec custom design a little bit more path style traditional not as compressed so there it is waffling on again a little brief thing about the green apple slab board here not very easy to find as I think they, they're completely abandoned doing the line of this colour but here we are we have one it's a nice rare thing these things are becoming a lot more sought after and collectible now due to the limited run that Squire China did uh, from what I'm aware of the guys have been back in touch with Fender to try and see if they can re-up the line again and get some more out there because people are asking for it um, but it seems to be falling on dead ears does that request um, and it's not getting followed up so if you are out there and you do want one of these 24 inch scale German signature quote unquote Muzuar is what he decided to call it it's not branded that in any way that's just the word on the vine or from the horse's mouth let's say then you're gonna have to go find used or someone who's just given up the ghost on theirs because they're not making these and they're definitely not making them in this color so it's a nice little treat of uh, guitar nostalgia history whatever they've got these nice uh, zebra Levi's or is it Levi's straps pink and turquoise and uh, you know the black and white zebra that's just one of ryan's per personal uh, choices of strap i think there's another one as well in that color so there we have it new switchcraft socket in this is ready to rock i've just restrung this with the 10 to 52s rotor sound blues set but we go we custom make the plain ones up so we go 13 17 17 and then i think it's 30 42 52 is it 30 42 52 maybe it is but 13 17 17 once more i'm going to show the red one very soon it's got their nice little autographed uh, thing on the back there the decal of round signature crafted in china s serial number on it slab board i will stop talking and do more work and it's easy in it <laughs>